Welcome back, people. Just uh, finished our uh, really, really, really bad mission. Um, I mean, just take a look at our soldier list. And what we've got one, two, three, four wounded. So we've actually only got four troops who are ready to go right now. Oh my gosh. So bad. Now, um, I figured that from that last failure just then, I was, I've been thinking about it the last couple of days, I've, I've been kind of, it's kind of been lingering in my mind, and, uh, I've been trying to find, think about a new strategy to actually, a better way to actually approach, uh, this, and hopefully prevent it from happening again, uh, a problem like this, so, here's what I came up with. We'll just go to our purchases, and we are going to smoke grenades. Now, um, I'm thinking perhaps even proximities as well, just to put it at the front of their ship. Because what I, what I realized in this game compared to um, TFTD is they tend to um, come out of their ship more. But for now, we'll just we'll watch it and see if they keep doing that. For now, I'm going to kind of also use a few high explosives as well. See how they go. There you go. Because remember in that last situation, right? That, that guy actually came... One of my guys walked into their door and there was five aliens right at the front. If he had a high explosive instead of a normal grenade, that could have been a different story. I mean, he would have died nonetheless, but I would have only lost one guy instead of... Um, well, I don't know how many I lost as soon as I did that. But if that's one, one or two guys less dead by using those high explosives every single mission, that's, that's so going to be worth it in the long run. Oh, we should probably equip those, shouldn't we? Um, okay, so we'll, we'll bring a few less grenades. Oh, we'll see how much space we have left, actually. Uh, take away a few... Oh, we're running low on rifles as well, my gosh. And how's our heavy cannons going? Okay, but let's buy a few more rifles and let's buy a few more heavy cannons. I didn't realize I'd lost that many. Right, that should be enough. Okay, and there's our fresh batch of recruits. Alright, average... Average... Hmm. He's actually not bad. I think, she, or she rather. Um, who am I up to? All right. Again, just going down the subscribe list. So Anthony G, welcome aboard. Average strength is too low. Ha! Ah, here we go. Yataka Kojima. Uh, you can be Chesla. Average. The good news is I'm still not getting not getting many complete rejects. This guy's pretty good as well. All right, uh, next guy is Sarge. This is actually a pretty good haul. Do like Dogan, Dohan. This is a. Uh, this guy was in also in my TFTD list and I think he got killed in like the very last mission <laughs> so he almost made it and the, the funny thing is uh, he didn't actually die from an alien he died from like a team kill from someone who got mind control <laughs> it's like the worst luck let's fix this name up So like just imagine you're in like an actual real war and I don't know I've, I've thought about this a couple of times but wouldn't you know quite a few team kills actually happen in a real war and like how much would that suck I mean you go out to fight for your country and you know you end up getting killed by your own country literally that's uh, I mean it's sad as well don't get me wrong 
it's not really funny, but it's more sad that really suck. It would really, really suck. All right, so let's bring these smoke grenades. Uh, let's bring about get rid of some of these. Take away two electro flares. Actually, no, we'll leave them. Just trying to think how many I'll need. Yeah, I think two smoke grenades should be enough, and then I'll put in some high explosives. And that should be good. Let's see how my research is tagging along as well. Speaking of which, oh, my leaving quarters isn't ready yet. Okay. Right now, in my TFT Let's Play, I used large. Oh, that must be the terror mission. I'll just let it go. It's probably going to land soon. Is it? I don't know if I should send it my interceptors because I'm probably going to get pwned. Oh, crap. Maybe it wasn't a terror mission. Shit. I should have sent out my Sky Ranger to kind of try and catch it. Oh well. I probably wasn't ready for it anyway. It's not a big deal. I've got like no research done. Alright, so medikit's done. That's great. What we need is... Hmm. I'm thinking laser weapons. I might just go with laser weapons because ammo is a lot more rare in this game. A lot more rare. So I probably should wait a bit, use laser weapons for a bit, until um, I've got stocked up enough ammo for my heavy plasma, which is the best gun in the game, besides the blaster launcher, of course. Alright, landed, great. Yeah, so as I was saying, uh, one of the things I'm not going to do compared to my tier... Where's it going? Come on, land. Where you going, buddy? There we go. He's landed in like Antarctica, I think. Uh, one of the things I'm not going to do is I'm not going to do the transfer salary trick anymore. Um, because it, to be fair, it, it's kind of cheating. Um, and that's not something I want, I want to do. Alright, so the only, only problem with high explosives is they're a bit heavy. Um, in fact, yeah, we'll just see how that goes. And of course, we don't have a full soldier list as well. Got a couple of wounded. Alright, just gonna reorganize all this stuff. Of course, my name, guys, I'm getting the heavy cannons. Because that's how they roll. smoke grenades, I should probably give them to the guys in the front. Game Master. HE ammo. God, the freaking high explosives look exactly like the, the ammo. That's that's why I'm getting a bit confused here. Alright. I think that looks pretty good. I really need most of this equipment. Not yet, anyway. Uh, who was the guy at the front? Yataka, wasn't it? Pretty sure it was Yataka. Give him a smoke grenade and we'll give him a smoke grenade just so we can chuck it right at the front. Hopefully it uh, makes a difference. Okay, well apparently they're not at the front anyway. Or we can just do this. We'll just prime it. And let's chuck it down here. Now one of the other good advantages about doing this is... Uh, where's the other smoke grenade gone? Is the fact that if you watch my TFTD guide, you'll see that ending the first turn can actually waste up their time units and make it less likely that they may um, have a, enough time units to actually open fire in, in this initial round. 
Didn't really need to throw it through there, didn't I? Bit of a waste. So I guess that's a double advantage of, uh, you know, throwing the smoke grenade at the front. Whether it's actually effective or not, I don't know, to be honest. I mean, obviously it's not 100% reliable. But even if it's like 10% reliable, that's that's still a good enough advantage for me to want to use it. But we'll wait and see. Now, I do know that... Um, Shit. Oh man, Chez is not going to make it. He did not last very long at all. Didn't think that there'd be someone behind me. He's going to die in two turns. Crap. Oh, how can we kill this guy? Do we have a high explosive around here? There we go. Okay, so 13 to throw it. Ah, oh, this is really confusing with all these freaking uh, Sky Ranger wings everywhere. Okay, I think that might get him. I'm not really sure on the radius of those things. It's my first time actually using them. But uh, I think it should be enough. If it's anything like the Magna Pack explosive, it should be more than enough. I really, really hate the Oh, that's massive. Holy crap. That is a massive explosion. That is nuts. Um, what was I saying? But yeah, I hope this new strategy works with this whole smoke grenades and high explosives. Hopefully it makes a difference. We should probably send a guy down here as well. Now I do know that standing in the smoke, you will take stun damage every single turn that you do stand in it. So that's the only downfall to it, but regardless, the stun damage really isn't that much to my knowledge. It takes a very, very long time to actually get you stunned. So that's fine. And of course, when you wear uh, the laser armors, you're completely immune to it anyway, so... Alright, so it looks like we've got a, a decent perimeter. Um, freaking hate this Sky Ranger compared to the Triton. It's so bad. Alright, so where was that? Uh, where was he? Oh, over there. Okay, so he's probably up here somewhere, I would say. I'm seriously confused. Where the hell is he? I probably should have used that other smoke grenade for all closer to the ship. Alright, alright. Next time I know. Next time I know. I just, um, I guess I wasn't too prepared to use the smoke grenades because they, the die grenades, which is the TFTD equivalent, there it is. Um, they really, really suck compared to because they, they actually, they're bugged and they don't work. So that's probably the main reason. Alright, so again, we're going to make sure our good guys get the actual kills. So the good guys, again, are uh, people who are, do have special names. So unfortunately, I've lost so many specials already. Especially in the last mission, I lost both myself and my girlfriend. So that kind of sucked. And the only problem with, I guess, this strategy strategy that I use is um, I'll very rarely send out my good guys into the actual alien uh, UFO and as a result um, a lot of a lot of like my average guys and crappy guys end up racking up all the kills and getting becoming really strong because that's how you actually improve your soldiers by getting those kills so I guess it's a bit contradictory in a way but it's just the way I'm used to playing I guess Right, so I think we've uh, covered all the outside perimeter. 
It should be safe to just head in there now. Alright, so what we might actually do is we'll just prime this high explosive and get ready to get in there. In the meantime, we might just stand back a bit, just in case that guy gets shot. We don't want him to set a chain reaction. Just like that. Good news is I think he's out of time units, so we'll just shoot him. I'll just prime this one ready as well. Alright, here goes nothing guys. Uh, okay, 13 to throw. Oh, that's a surprise. I thought there'd be there's usually a couple in there. There we go. Of course, uh, one of the other good things about using grenades like that is they uh, the grenades uh, tend to be a lot more accurate in throwing them compared to you know guns at this early stage of the game. All right, so we're halfway through the ship. Oh crap, he's right there. Ouch. Didn't even see him. It's not fair. Oh my god, I completely forgot he had a prime grenade. Budge. Oh. Jesus Christ. I'm getting schooled again. I think he's gone inside here. Ah, oh, two of them. Alright, I think I better start setting this guy over. I've got a feeling he's gonna get killed. Oh, that was a terrible, terrible mistake. I can't believe I did that. I'm not really showing a, a really good... Um, you know, play style right now. So, if you're looking to learn, uh, this probably wouldn't be the best video to watch. And um, it's getting to the point now. Whoa, crap! I did not expect him to come out like that. Oh crap! This is horrible, man. This is going. This is getting just out of hand. I don't think I have any more rifles as well, don't I? Okay, Alter, whatever, you can come. Um, here's what we might do. I don't want to risk the reaction fire. Yeah, that should do the trick. Just stay there. Now, I reckon there would be a, just one more in that little room. Geez, they really love coming out this. You know what, I'm actually thinking proximities might be the way to go. I'm really thinking it. Yeah, that's it. Alright, um, we'll take a look at this, uh, and I think next video I'm going to completely try to change my style because the way I'm playing right now, really, uh, it's obviously not working. With six killed and seven killed the last mission, something's got to change. So, uh, you know, stay tuned, guys, um, and I'm going to have a good, long, hard think about this, and uh, we'll see how that goes in the next video.